What is up guys? Dylan here from Heart Tech Zone and today I'm basically remaking the video that I made ages ago which actually got the most views my channel has ever got and okay yeah I can form and stuff better now obviously I've got this camera I've got my editing tricks that I've learned but I thought in honor of the old video I'm gonna do it the same way handheld camera and yeah you know the most raw kind of form ever alright so anyway this is the phone this is the Galaxy S5 with simple UI oh sorry Grace UI or something on it, it comes from Samsung it's not rooted or anything okay it's got Android 6.0.1 okay 6.0.1 cool and now we're going to be putting on Android Nougat so let's do this. You're gonna need a laptop. Come on, laptop. And you're gonna need a cable. So I'm just gonna borrow my S7 inches cable for now. Alright. I'm thinking of doing a studio tour sometime. But I'll need to clean this mess first. Alright, here we go. These are the files you need up top there. You'll need Super SU, you'll need RN, RRN, which is the Resurrection Remix ROM, and then you'll need this other file here, which is Open Gaps. Alright, now for now, what you need to do is switch the phone off. Just bear in mind that you're going to need to reset the device, so please make sure you're backed up first. Alright. Switching off. You can plug it in so long. Also, if you have USB Type 3 on your on your um on your laptop, it's usually the ones with the blue. The blue thingies. Let's see this is a normal one, this is just USB, this is USB 3. If you have one of those, plug it in there rather. That side's also USB 3. Alright, so you're gonna plug it in. So I'll do the worst for you to try and plug in. Alright, now what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the volume down button over there, home button and, and the on button, the power button, and you're going to keep holding them down until it goes into this mode. Let's just get this focus right quickly. Okay. Then what you're going to do is click the up button to continue. It'll do this downloading thing. Alright, once it's done this, leave it like that. Then move on to the laptop. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to need a file called Odin. You can download it from the link in the description. Um, mine's still in the downloads folder. So, Odin. This is what it looks like. Then what you're going to do is you're going to right click on it. You're going to click run as an admin. And you're going to click yes. Then what you're going to do is install TWRP onto the onto the S5. Now the, all these files are going to be linked in the description. Here's TWRP. You'll notice that I've got another one. This is for the S7 inch. This is the one for the S5. That's what it looks like there. Then what you're going to do is click open. Then you're going to click start. And then you're going to switch off the device quickly before it restarts. Because if it restarts, then you're going to have to do it all over again. Because S5s have this funny way of like, I don't know, deleting your twerp before you can before you can use it, okay? Then what you can do is volume up button, power button, and home button. And if that comes up, it means it works. Okay, so now you'll see I've got team, um, team one project. Now what you're going to do, let me put this in manual focus. Okay, now you're going to swap for modifications. And you're going to need to wipe the phone. So go here and just swap. We're going to factory set the device. Okay, done. Now you leave it on and go back to the laptop. Alright, you can close Odin now, you're done with that. Now you're going to copy that file, that file, and that file. Copy them. 
go to your device and put it on the internal or the external storage, it doesn't really matter. And just put it into any folder, uh, any folder, any folder. I'm going to put it in the download folder. Just paste it there. Okay, you see it's going in. It may take a while. Okay, done. Now you can close that. Go back to the phone. Now you're going to go back and click the install button. Okay, and you'll see all these things. So select storage, make sure it's on internal storage. Well, if you put it on the memory card, then make sure you're in the memory card. Alright, then download, and you'll see that the files are there. First one you want to do is super SU. Make sure that it's not already set to boot again, because you need to flash more than one file. So you do the boot. <coughs> Sorry, I mean you do the root. It'll do this whole process thing. Alright, it's done. Go back. Do the ROM. It's funny that the ROM installs faster than the root. Now go back and flash open gaps. You have to flash this. If you don't flash this, you won't have Google Play services. Okay, done. Now what you're going to do is go back, reboot, and then just reboot the system. And then, yeah, I'll just install the app. Alright, so you can see that's come up now. That's to show that your phone is rooted. Now, it's going to take a f quite a while to boot the first time, like quite a while. But it does work. I've done it on my sister's phone already and it works perfectly fine. If you do it at night, you'll notice that the screen will be orange. That's because um, of some night sensor thing that it tries to make your eyesight better or whatever. I don't know how it works exactly. But if you do it during the day, you'll see it's just perfectly white like normal. Um, this is the boot animation. It looks really cool. And you'll be running Android 7.1.2, I think. So it's quite an improvement on Android 6.0.1. Um, yeah, it's based on the on the Google Pixel, so you'll get the Pixel launch and everything, which is really nice. Just one issue is that this thing takes so long to boot, so I have to get up and get ready for work and shit. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe.